All right, so today we're going to be modifying my LOC 124th scale micro four wheel drive brushless SCT RTR RC car. Uh, I got this thing, I've had it in storage for a while. I wanted to get it out, drive it around, have a good time. But the batteries, the old LiPo batteries, were just, they wouldn't take a charge anymore. So they were garbage. So I needed to get some new ones. I looked online. Long story short, they were coming from all over the world, from China, and it would be over a month before I'd get them. And I really don't want to wait that long uh, if I even got them at all. So with that said, these old batteries had a two pin Molex style connector on them, and I couldn't find anything. So even the local hobby store didn't have anything. With that said, I'm going to walk you guys through the steps of what I did, and hopefully this works for you. So if you're looking for the types of tools I used and the equipment, the harnesses, and the batteries that I used for this modification, just look in the video description below. You'll see that down there. Uh, it does link back to my Amazon uh, seller account. Uh, I make a little bit of money off of these uh, just as a referral. It doesn't affect the price, but it does help me out uh, by being able to provide these types of videos for repairs and uh, help and assistance things. All right, so let's dig into this. So here's an overhead shot of the car that we're gonna be working on today. If you take a look here, this is the older batteries. I had a, uh, a LiPo and I had the original battery that came with it. Uh, both of them had that Molex two pin connector on there that just I can't find a good replacement for it anymore these one of them was the original low C battery so we're going to go all lipo on this mod and go with the new uh, JST style connectors as you'll see right here this is the new battery that we're going to be using that uh, three pin Molex connector is actually going to be used for charging the battery and that red JST style two pin connector will be used to actually connect the battery to the car itself. All right, here's a picture of the new harness that I'm gonna be connecting and soldering onto the car itself to be interfacing with the new battery. So here are some basic tools that you're gonna to need to do this mod with. You're gonna need a small jeweler style uh, Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, it really helps to have a pair of small needle nose pliers for helping to remove these little uh, body pins that hold the top of the car on and to also assist with loosening up some of the connectors that we'll be working with on the inside. You're also going to need a soldering iron and of course you're going to need some solder and if you don't have solder with flux in it then you're going to need to have some flux to go along with it so let's go ahead and flip the car on its side and remove the battery if you haven't already so this picture shows the battery removed with the old style two pin molex connector all right next we're going to start with the top of this car flip it back over and we're going to remove all four of the body pins that hold the plastic shell on and we're going to remove the body shell off of the car all right so we're going to disconnect and remove out of the that little connector right there. We're gonna pull it out uh, so that's out of the way. All right, next we're gonna remove all seven of these little screws. There are uh, four along the center of the body, two on each side, and then you have two towards the, the rear and one at the front. And this will allow us, again, we'll remove these, and this will allow us access to some of the circuit board on the inside, as you can see here. Uh, please make note of the piece that we pulled off. That is the controller for the steering. Uh, you don't want to try to, to jimmy it off or anything like that because it might break that little that little white tab that's that little arm that this arrow is pointing towards. Uh, that will definitely set you back and you'll have to find a replacement uh, motor for your servo for your steering. All right, so what we're looking at here is you can trace those two wires back to the actual harness for that two pin Molex connector harness. We're gonna trace that back, but I'm um, just highlighting it here on the card, on the board for us to kind of help simplify, kind of let you look at what we're, we're looking at. And we're gonna reference this right here. Again, there's where those two wires are running to the Molex connector. So we're gonna pull that roll Molex connector out of the body of the battery compartment. And you'll see right here, we've pulled it through that little opening. So what I'm going to do now is I have desoldered the, uh, the the positive or the red wire off of the car. And what the next thing we're going to do is so that we don't get confused as far as what wire goes where or if you didn't take pictures. I only do one wire at a time. Again, there's no power to the car. 
So we're safe with doing this. So we're gonna just put in and solder on just the red wire. Next step we're gonna do is we're going to desolder the black wire from the two pin Molex connector that we're removing, that harness. And then we're gonna go ahead and solder in the remaining black wire or the return for the new connector harness. All right, with all that done, now we're gonna route the connector of the new harness back through the same little opening in the battery compartment that the other connector was attached or ran through. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start putting this thing back together. And again, notice the, the little arm from the steering servo. We need to be able to insert that back into the correct position uh, where uh, it will be able to steer the car. So we wanna insert that back in right there. See the arrows pointing towards where that little arm goes. Next, we're going to put the screws back into the body after we've got that steering piece and the, the, bo the body part put back on. And then if you'll notice here, we need to go ahead and reconnect that wiring harness for the steering capabilities. So you'll see we press that back in. Next part to do is to install the awesome new battery that you bought and you'll see it sitting right there. Everything tucks in really nice. All right, that's it. And it's time to go drive your awesome mo newly modified car that you can find batteries for now instead of having to wait month or even get it at all. So I hope that this helps. Enjoy. Uh, any any questions or comments, I appreciate it. Drop them down below in the, uh, in the comments section. Again, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys are looking for parts, again, I have the parts listed right down below in the video notes. So... Have a nice day and enjoy your RC car.